Supercross Live on supercrossonline.com. Kevin Barnett catching up with Rockstar Energy Suzuki's Jason Anderson. Jason, great week last week, first win of your career. Now this year, the, the trend has been get your first win, get the next week. Yeah, hopefully that's the uh, same thing happens to me. Um, coming out of Vegas with a win would be great. So um, I'm just looking forward to getting a good start and um, putting in my laps and hopefully uh, my Rockstar Energy Racing bike ends up somewhere on the podium. Jim and I were talking last week and making our picks at the end of the, at the end of the day, and I thought you had pretty good advantage being from New Mexico, the type of soil that was out there in Salt Lake, the dryness and the altitude and all those things. All those elements seem to be present here in Vegas. Do you think that stuff gives you an advantage here as well? Uh, yeah, definitely. The, I grew up on dry, hard pack tracks, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it stays tacky tonight, but we're here in Vegas. It's the sun's hot. It's going to bake, so uh, we'll probably end up riding a dry track for the east-west shootout, so it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a good start and um, put, in, put in your laps. You mentioned that East-West shootout. Is that an event that you look forward to? Uh, yeah, for sure. It's, uh, it's cool. I mean, we haven't got to race those guys all year on a Supercross track. So uh, being able to race them here in Vegas and um, hopefully uh, be able to battle with them will be something new for us, and it'll be exciting for the fans. This is a different format where you guys qualify straight into the main event and then have to come out. You haven't seen the track in a while, come out and bust out 15 laps right away. How do you approach tonight differently than the regular race program? Yeah, it's definitely going to be tougher because you usually use your heat race to warm up a little bit. So uh, I think I'm going to use my last practice to put in kind of a heat race moto to uh, try and to uh, get your breathing down and all the juices flowing for your main event because coming out busting out 15 right away is definitely going to be difficult. But, um, you know, we uh, we got to do it. So going to try and prepare the best we can for that. Obviously, a lot of talk about the championship race in both the 250 classes, but you seem like one of those guys that has the opportunity to influence the championship. Are you aware of that, and does that factor in your day and your approach tonight? Um, you know, I'm just trying to get out there and, and get a good start and put in my laps. I mean, if I'm around those guys, I'll definitely try and um, be nice, you know, not try to be uh, too aggressive with them because they're fighting for a championship, and um, they got a lot on the line. But if I'm if I could win the race, that would be great. If I could be wherever, I just I don't want to affect their race. So um, I'm just looking to put in my race and um, hopefully get a good start and be out front, and then they could battle behind me. It seemed like last year when they shut you down for a few races, you came back stronger. You had a good finish the season, good outdoors. Now this year you've been strong all year. With that first win last week, do you think you can kind of take a breath and maybe move to another chapter? Is this a, a, new, a new level for you? Um, I definitely think the win has helped me break through, and um, I think I've had it in me all year. It's just been comfortable riding up front, so um, I think uh, it'll definitely be it's a positive for me, and I have more confidence coming into the, this race, and hopefully it shows out there on the track.